the time is about 9.50. I had some alarms set for like 9.15, uh, but then I went back to sleep. It's not a good habit because um, it's wasted time. Either don't set an alarm so early or wake up, but you can't wake up and go back to sleep. Not efficient. So I'm going to check my stocks. Um, I might do a little options um, trading here and there. I normally do it at the beginning of the week. And once I do that, I'm going to maybe get a granola bar and definitely not sleep. So I'm getting some bread to eat my breakfast. It's about 10.57. And look at all this meat. So much. But I just came for the bread. So the time is 11.57. Just finished my food. Very tasty. And we're going to meet the cook herself, Fatma Khala. Fatma Khala, did you make this amazing, amazing food? Yes. It's very, very good. So I'm full. I got a good day's breakfast. Time to work. So I'm learning about pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, otherwise known as PDC. Basically, it's the linker between um, the thing that happens in the cytosol, glycolysis, and the thing that happens in the mitochondria, the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle or whatever. Now, it turns pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. What I didn't realize is that CoA is actually a carrier enzyme. Acetyl is the thing that actually goes into the cycle. So um, that happens. Acetyl is a two-carbon uh, molecule, and oxaloacetate is four-carbon. They come together, and they make citrate, which is six-carbon. Um, and the way pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is actually regulated is pretty interesting. Basically, um, there's a kinase, which adds a phosphate and that will downregulate. However, um, that's also very interesting because it's a very elegant system because if you have lots of ATP in the cell, that kinase action is going to be easier to do and thus you're going to downregulate it and then you have less energy production, which is the whole point, right? You don't want too much energy. Um, and then you take off the phosphate and then you upregulate it. And so it's a really cool cycle. So the more you learn. So we can see that bee right over there. He's flying. Their little nest is right, uh, oh, he's going to, right there, right there. That little dirt mound is his nest. And they fly into this window so much, and it's it literally sounds like this. It sounds like that when they fly into it. They're very stupid. So the time is about 8.24, and we have 30 minutes left in this lecture, and then I'll have master day one. I know I'm going slow. This is what I did last time, though, and it worked out, but I know I'm going slow. So the plan is to go to lecture tomorrow, fully understand that stuff, or at least, you know, at least go to lecture so that I can half understand it and get through another lecture or two tomorrow and master them, because there's a difference between watching them and mastering them. You can watch all the lectures you want, but mastering them is hard. I was gonna go for a swim today, but I'm kind of behind, so probably won't today. Just gonna work. You know what time it is. Okay, so making extremely, oh, why did it turn off? I just want to let you guys know that my phone died when I was trying to feed the fishes, so I couldn't show it to you, so. The time is about uh, 1.11, and I finished lecture, or not lecture, day one. So I'm happy about that. Um, super hard. I was getting distracted a lot, but it's done. So I'm an expert. You can ask me anything on it, and I will know. So taking my, my vitamins, my vitamins right here. I'm eating some crackers and milk, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to class tomorrow because it's mandatory. Um, even though I could probably skip it and still pass physicianship, I probably shouldn't skip it, so I'm going. And I might work with my group because we have a PowerPoint due on September 1st, which is also the day of our exam. So we'll definitely want to knock that out early. Other than that, yeah, I uh, fed the fishes, but my phone died. Uh, so I didn't get that, but yeah, overall, not such a bad day. Not great either, though. Hoping for a better day tomorrow. Good night.